are working on a couple of things. For those of you who don't know, it is Hispanic Heritage Month this month. So we're gonna look at a couple of songs from some of our Latin American friends and uh, listen to them and hear them and do a little bit of dancing and grooving. Latin America is lots of different places. So I can't wait for you to see and hear some music from our Latin American friends uh, for the Hispanic Heritage Month. Enjoy. This month, we are celebrating Hispanic heritage. Ruben Galvan shows us how some locals are putting their heritage on full display. Hola, Houston. We're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month in a big way. A culture that is rich, full of warmth, and of course, full of color. Our first stop, Sam Houston High School. For more than 25 years, HISD has supported students by teaching them the world of mariachi music and folklorio dancing, both symbolizing the true art of Mexican tradition. Mariachi Bicentenario is the title of our group. So it's composed of the violins, the guitar, the viguela, the guitarron, and trumpets, and also the harp. This special group travels all throughout Texas to perform and has captured the attention of thousands. The dancing, it just brings this colorful vibe that everyone likes to dance around to. And it's special because we can share the culture with the students. Uh, not only are they also doing music, they're, they're also advancing and being successful in their academics and going to college. It makes me feel proud of myself and my culture and what my parents have raised me to be. Our next stop, the original Marinis in Banada House. I feel so proud to be Hispanic with Italian blood, run in Argentina, living in USA. Since 1971, Marcelo Marini and his beautiful family have shared their amazing popular pastries with Houstonians all the way from Argentina. To this day, they have more than 90 flavors of empanadas on hand. Fresh from scratch to the table, from our kitchen to your mouth. Warm bread is filled with savory meats, spices, and cheese. Oh, brother, very good. You better believe it. It's ground meat with fried onions and the spices. Wow! This is a regular chicken diablo with chicken with marinara sauce and spices, of course. So delicious. And you can't forget about the desserts. Look at here. Oh my God. <laughs> and what is this? This one called Chio Surprise. Fresh banana, chocolate chips, and cream cheese with dulce de leche. Wow, a big thank you to our friends at the original Marini's Empanada House. Off to our final stop. Talk about festive, Party Piñatas knows how to celebrate. <laughs> And of course, you can't celebrate the Hispanic culture without a custom-made piñata. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month! These Mexican artists can make any kind of piñata you want, all by hand. We're talking from the very small to the very large. We use very bright colors, as you can see, very bright colors. <laughs> so it's going to be 18 feet tall. It's going to be a huge piñata. This is a very simple piñata. It's going to take only from uh, two to three uh, working days. We have the traditional seven points piñata, which is one of the most popular piñata. Wow, that's what I call a fiesta. Thank you, Houston, for celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with us right here at KHU 11. Until next time, adios. For this one, you need a couple of pencils. We're gonna keep some beats on the ground. We're gonna keep them on our legs and on our heads to my song, El Tambor, El Tambor. So get ready. Are we? 
Mehl. along with is La Bamba. You're gonna pay attention. There's two different parts you can choose from. You can do the steady beat and keep the steady beat with them, or you can do the one that's a little harder over on the side and you're gonna be able to follow along with it. Now Stacy's gonna do the one that's a little bit harder because we got that steady beat. You can do that steady beat, no problem. So here we go. All right, love, so like I said, for this one, you can either choose to keep the steady beat, which is straight taws all the way across, or you can follow our rhythm patterns. Follow along and let's say our pattern. One, two, here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Oh, I walked it in there. Let me get my pencil. One, two, here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, 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 ta, ta. Let's do it one more time. One, two, here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. T, 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 Ta, Ta. And you're just gonna grab two pencils or two pens, and we're gonna keep that rhythm using our pencils.
up with our song, La Bamba, another one of our Latin American songs for Hispanic Heritage Month. my loves thank you for joining me for music time this week we had so much fun celebrating our hispanic heritage month learning about all of our latin american songs our instruments
So this week we are working on lines and spaces, our treble clef lines and spaces. Remember we start with a staff. A staff has five lines. One, two, three, four, and five. Here is my staff. Isn't it lovely? Five lines, just like that. The way we count our staff lines is we start from the bottom and we go up to the top as if it is a building. You don't start on the fifth floor and walk to the fourth floor. You start on the first floor and go up. So this is the first floor, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So there are our five line floors. In between the floors, there are spaces. Think of it as four attics. We have attics in Florida, yes. We don't have basements, but we have attics. So there are four spaces, five lines and four spaces. If you take a look at your hand, your hand is its own staff. We have our lines, one, two, three, four, five, it's hard to see, it's on my thumb, and your spaces are in between one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna point to one and you tell me if it's a line or a space. Line, space, line, 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 space, line, space, line, space, line, 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 space, 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 line, okay? Didn't actually point and you said it, I kinda just walked you through it, didn't I? Sorry about that. So that is our staff, lines and spaces. So here's where it gets kind of interesting. Our music notes go on these lines and spaces. It's how we read music. Music is universal. No matter where you go, these lines and spaces will always mean the same thing if it has a treble clef on the front. If this little sign at the beginning is different, the letters change. For right now, we're only working with treble clef, treble clef. Ooh, I have a treble clef song I'm gonna play for you in just a minute. All right, so if a note is on the line, you know because it's running through it. See how the line is running through that note? What's super nifty, yes, I said nifty, is your music note can look like any of our music notes as long as that line runs through the middle of the note, whether it's an open note or a closed note, it is on the line, okay, it is on the line. So that's on the line, on the line here, here is a line, I'll move my hand in a minute, there is a line, and there is a line. We can tell because there is a line running through the middle of the note. Once you get to the third line and up, your stems switch to going down instead of up. So if you notice your stems going down, don't worry about it. That's just because it flipped over the third line. All right, so that's our line. Super easy, All right? Let me erase this with my, what am I using today? Oh, my lunch napkin. Hmm, okay. Draw another staff. One, two, three, four, five. We got a treble clef on the front. So we had our lines. Now we have our spaces. Space notes go in between the lines. I can tell it's in the space because there is no line running in the middle of the note. The note is simply in between the lines. So those are called space notes. <laughs> Sounds like space note. There used to be a TV show. Never mind. Um, so those are our spaces. Spaces can go there. They can be here. They can be here. They can be here. So those are all spaces. Again, your stems go up if you're above, below the third line. They go down if you're above. So don't stress about the stems yet. Right now, we're just working about the spaces. All right. So game time, part one. I am going to draw a music note on our staff, and I want you to tell me whether it is a line or a space. Now I know you're thinking, Miss Stacy, this is a video, you cannot hear me. You're correct, I cannot hear you. But I'm going to pretend that I can hear you, and we're gonna play our game anyway, because I wanna make sure you get it. So here is our first note. So take a look at it. Figure out, is it on a line or between two lines? So is it a line or a space? 
If you said space, you are amazingly awesome. If you didn't say space, you're still amazingly awesome, but that is a space, a space, because it is between two lines. And it is one, two, the second space, because I count, oh, like a building, the second space. Let's try another one, here we go. Let's do this one here. Oh, tricky, tricky. What do you think? Is it a line or a space? Oh, remember you're looking at the circle, the head of the note, not the stem. Ah, that circle has a line running through it, so I know it is on a line. Which line number is it? The magic number is four. We count up one, two, three, and four. So we are on the fourth line. Let's try one more just to be safe. Erase that little fella right there. All right, hmm, let's do this one. I'll try to trick you a little bit. All right, hmm, take a look at that one. Is it a line or a space? A line or a space? Hard to tell. It is a colored in note, but you can still see there's a line running in between it. So it is a line. Which line is it? One, two, line two. So that is line two. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good, 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 good. All right, we're going to move on to the next part. All right, my amazing students. So here's where it gets a little bit harder, but you're going to get it. It's going to be awesome. So we have our staff. Remember, this is a treble clef. Treble clef. So we call it a treble staff. Da -da 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 Super staff, treble staff, kind of looks like a fancy S. And I know it's a treble clef because this little loop loops around the second line, but we'll talk more about that part later. So there's our treble clef. So we talked about the notes, but here's where it gets really interesting. Each of those notes on the lines and spaces have letters that go with them. Just like you have letters that go with your name, there are letters that go with our staff. The lines are E, G, B, D, and F. E, G, B, D, F. The old way that I always learned it when I was in school, because I'm old, was we used the words, every good boy does fine. That's how we remembered. Every starts with E, good, G, boy starts with B, does, starts with D, and F is fine. Every good boy does fine. So if you saw a note, on let's say the second line instead of just saying second line we would say that note is now G so cause I know because every good G is the second line there are lots of fun ways to remember the lines um, one of my students said um, elephants got big dirty feet not great grammar but it's a fun way to remember your lines e elephants got big dirty feet um, there's a really funny one that says, even George Bush does fart. That was super fun. One of my children came up with that one. Yay, funny, E-G-B-D-F. Um, what was another one? Oh, <laughs> this one is disgusting. Even gooey boogers deserve flicking. Blah. I can't. It's nasty. It's nasty. But whatever words you can come up with to remember EGBDF, it's up to you. As long as you remember, the lines are EGBDF. So let's play a little game. I'm going to draw a note somewhere on my staff. Take a look at that note. What letter goes with that note? Can you tell? I see it's on the fourth line. And the fourth line is D, right? Every good boy does D. All right, let's try one more of my lines. Um, let's go with the bottom one, might as well. We're down here. What letter goes with that one? Did you say E? That E is correct because E, every, is the first line. Every good boy does fine. So really you're just decoding. You're like master decoders. 
figuring out the mystery. So those are the lines. The spaces are super easy to remember. Three, four, five lines with Stacy on the staff, drawing my treble clef. The spaces spell the word face. Space, face. F A C and E. My C is kind of messy. F A C and E. So if I draw a note um, right here, what letter is that one? I see it's the second space. F A. A is my note. So A would be the answer. A. So let's test your memory. Every good boy does fine, and F-A-C-E. Get that in your brain forever and ever and ever. When you're old and you come up to me in the grocery store and you're like, Miss Stacy, do you remember when I had you for a music teacher? I want you to tell me, I remember every good boy does fine. Okay, so every good boy does fine, and F-A-C-E. So first thing, I'm gonna draw my note. Step one, figure out is it a line or a space? What do you think? It is a line, I can tell because there's a line running through it. Now that I know it's a line, I know my lines are every good boy does fine, so I'm gonna count up every good boy. So this note is the letter B. So I would say B. See how we're figuring that out? Let's try another one. Step one, figure out if it's a line or a space. There is a line running through it, so it is a line. So then we count. Every good boy does. So that was a D. One more, one more, one more. Let's get rid of that one. Do, 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 do. Fix my staff back up here. Um, First step, is it a line or a space? I know it is a space because it is between the two lines. So then I remember space rhymes with face, F-A-C-E. So I know that note name is E. So we're gonna watch a little video, a little fun song about the treble clef lines and spaces. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go on to something else, a little game. So here is our video. Enjoy. Once upon a time, you were a fancy G. They put you on the staff so everyone could see. The second line is G. The second line is G. The second line is G. G, 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 G. Up on the grand staff with every line in space. The notes up on your staff sound higher than the bass. Above middle C. Above middle C. Above middle C. C, 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 C. Try 
head all day. I don't know what will, right? So they took a normal song and they changed the words, of course, to go with our treble clef lines and spaces. And if you notice, if you really listen to the song, treble clef is also called the G clef. Let's figure out why that is. Hold on. Erase this music up here. Remember I said a treble clef. So there is my staff, my treble clef, it's a big giant J, a backwards S, and then it loops around the second line. The second line has a letter name. Do you remember what letter name goes with that? Mm -hmm. Every good. So the second line is the letter G. So, if you put two and two together, that is also why they call the treble clef a G clef, because this little loopy thing here circles around the second line. If you were to draw a treble clef like this, that would not be correct, right? Even though it's super pretty, it's looping around the third line, and the third line is B. Follow the third line since it is not a B clef, it is a G clef. All right, so we're going to play a little game now. And in order to play this game, you need to remember your lines and your spaces. So, what you might want to do is take a little paper and write your letters so that you have them next to you. It's okay to use these while you're doing the activity. Later on, I'm going to want you not to use these because I want you to get it in your brain forever and ever and ever without ever having to see it on paper. So when you start the game, you can use this if you need to keep looking back and forth. Um, and then later on, try to, try to get rid of this and see how well you do. So what you're gonna do now is play a fun game called Staff Wars. I'm gonna show you how to work the game, how to get to the game, and how to post your scores to me on our TS page. Enjoy the game. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, you guys. So we are going to start learning about our lines and spaces. We're doing it with an app called Staff Wars. When you click on the link, it should take you here. It might say run Adobe. Yes, you run Adobe. Sometimes when you go, sometimes when you go to the link for Staff Wars, it'll have this little Adobe thing in the corner that says get Adobe. You just click it and you allow. And once you allow it, it should come up. Hopefully it works. I haven't tried it on a school computer. Just, I mean, on a student computer, so we're gonna hope that it works. First thing you're gonna do is go down here and click here until it gets the note inside there and there. Otherwise, it's not going to be correct. You just click the treble clef. And remember, our lines are every good boy does fine. And the spaces are F-A-C-E. Spaces, face, lines, every good boy does fine. So here's how you play the game. Once you hit start, and, and I might die on this, so just go with me because I want to explain it. A note comes across the screen. So I look at it, every good. I know good starts with G, so I click G. Every good, I know it's on a line. Every good boy does fine. Fine starts with an F. It's on a line because it's running through the note. Every good, good starts with G, come on. It's on a line because it's running through the note. Every good boy does fine, that's F. Ooh, this one doesn't have a line running through it, right? So it's on a space. My first space is the first letter in face, which is F. Lucky number, again, hello, again. All right, again, this is a space because there's no line in it. F, A, C. First line, because it's got the line running through the note, and that is E. Remember, every good boy does fine. Every good boy, every good boy, every good boy. Eh, eh, space F A C, F A C. Uh, it's a space. Second space is A, A. Uh, every good boy does. As a space C, every good boy does. Every. Every good boy does fine. Uh, F A C E. Uh, F. 
Every good boy does. Every good boy over here, boy. Um, F A C E, and then it gets faster and faster. The hardest part is finding the letters down here. If you have a touch screen, it's much easier. And then it gets faster and faster. And you want to see how many you can get correct. Now, if you get one wrong like that, it'll unk, and you get one dead guy. You have three dead guys. Oh, that would happen to me, right? Oh no, I died again. Oh no, I died again. So down here at the bottom, correct 38, level four. That's what I need you to tell me. You're gonna take a picture of it. You're gonna post the picture on our Teams page. So I wanna see how many you got correct and your level. It'll, that'll all come up for you. So the important things to remember is you have to change the range. It starts off big like this. You're not gonna know all those notes yet. You will by the end of the year. You won't know those ones yet. You won't know those ones yet. You need to have it where it's on the first space, the first line and the last line because we only know the notes in between those. We don't know these ones. These are called ledger lines. We'll talk about those later. Don't stress about that. But you want to figure out these ones here in the middle. Super fun game. And I'll post the link in our Teams page. Um, it is available as an app, but I think it costs money. I'll double check on that in a little bit. Have fun. This has been Music Time with Miss Stacy. I miss you, I love you, and I will see you soon.